Okay, chapter 10, straight lines and quadratic equation. So now we are going to draw something called a straight line. Straight line graph shows a relationship between the y coordinate and the x coordinate. So let's look at the things that you're supposed to know before we start. Table values and straight line graphs that you have learned it before in your year nine or your stage nine mathematics, where we know how to plot a table. And then we use the equation given to us or immediately just plot whatever that has been given to us. So this one here, each and every pair is a coordinate. Coordinate, coordinate, coordinate. So the coordinates that you are to plot, always remember write your x value first. So you're supposed to plot negative one, three, supposed to plot zero, four, supposed to plot one, five, supposed to put two, six. So these are the coordinates that you are to plot. Once you plot, then you can draw a straight line through them. Besides that, you also have to know what is the, the equation of a straight line where m is the gradient. Okay, it shows how steep it is. If it's a positive gradient, then it's going towards up. So it's going in upwards motion from left to right, then you can see it's going upwards, then it's a positive gradient. If it's going downwards, then it should be a negative gradient. C, this one here is what we call a constant where it crosses the y-axis. For straight line graph, there's only one value for C. So if you can see here, it's now four. At four, on the y-axis, it crosses. So the y-intercept or the c is positive 4. Gradient of a straight line, you can find by using this formula here, change in y-value over change in x-value, or in other words, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so after you do that, they can draw a straight line first. If you give you an equation, you ought to plot them but you already know a few. So you only need two, at least two. Best is you have three. You know your y called, uh, your y intercept. So here you have one already. And then after that, you can draw it by looking at this one here, which is your gradient. Means your change in y go up by one. Your x go right by three. So here, one, two, three go up by one. So you can already have one point here, one point here, then you can draw your straight line over it. Or you can just put in the value for X, any value, then you can find out what is point. Okay, so straight line here is the same thing, but then you just use information to plot the line. So if you have certain things, it says, owns a boat hire company, charges $40 flat, and then another $15 per hour of hire. So first, we're going to see that every time we can form an equation here, because there's every time you need to have a flat charge first, means that there's like a fixed cost, then your total cost per hour. So you can see total cost is equals to Y, flat charge is here. And then this part here is your hourly charges. X is your hour. So when we have a graph like this, we can immediately see any time, two hours, how much I'll earn, five hours, six hours, 10 hours, how much I'll earn based, based on the straight line graph that has been drawn. So what you can do is you can input your X value to find out what is your Y value. So all of these, like just now, all of these are coordinates. You don't need to plot all of them to get a straight line graph. Like I said, you only need two to be accurate, you need three. So the coordinate that you ought to plot is 155, 270, 385. You should get a straight line after that. So you've got this line, this line, this part, this part, this part, this three points, and you just draw a straight line, then immediately you will get your answer. You will notice that the fixed cost that you are drawing here, this is your 40 right here. Because that is your constant. Like I said, every time you will go through that one particular point. So next, you also can do the same thing, your coordinates here. So how to get your coordinate? Your Y value is basically, you put in your X value into the equation here. So this Y here is actually Y is equals to two negative three plus three. 
So negative three times two is negative six plus three y is equal to negative three. This is your origin of this value right here. So we do the same thing by changing this negative two here. You put your negative two, instead of putting negative three, you put it here, then you can find a different y value. Okay, so this is a work example. This one shows a negative gradient, as you can see, as an example here, I'll show you it goes a downwards motion. You're reading from left to right, it goes this direction. So it's a negative gradient. 